Now this video is about to show you how you can make a Facebook ad in a smart way so that you get value for your money. Yeah! How y'all doing and welcome to this, 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 this edition of Simon Says. So Facebook ads, aka those ads that appear on your feed and you're like, how did Facebook know that I wanted underwear for December? Is Facebook in my closet? Is Facebook watching me? They're watching all of us. <gasps> Relax, cool your nipples. <sighs> Facebook uses an algorithm that includes some of your previous searches in order to know what ads to place within your feed. From a business point of view, this is to your advantage because you get to place your advert in the eye view of a prospective customer. Now, how in the world do you get started? Let me show you. Do I have that? Alrighty, let's start from the top. Here is a normal Facebook page. That normal Facebook page will be my Facebook page. Simon says that is. Now, what you notice from the top, from the start, from the word go, is that Facebook alerts you at times or uh, to boost your post. They'll say, you look, you can boost this post with only 2,000 shillings and reach many more people. Because this is how Facebook basically makes money. So, let me show you using one of my interviews that I did on Chatspot, how to actually boost an ad that would tar specifically target your audience that you want to reach for a very limited budget let's start so the first thing that you see is when you get to the ad is they will give you an objective place okay the objective column on the left hand side will ask you what do you want to do do you want to reach more people or do you want to connect and touch and connect and chat not touch with potential customers so basically what do you want to reach the objective with this ad so for me what i want to do is i want to get more people to watch my video that is what i want to do make sure you pick your objective strategically based on what you want now here is a post button now this post button will be at the bottom part of your advert okay so in case you want to advertise a book or anything here are the various buttons that you can reach shop now book now learn more sign up get directions send message and send whatsapp message based if you actually attach a phone number to your business page so they will actually be able to send you a direct whatsapp message through facebook now the audience section this is where you'll be able to target the specific people that you want to reach with this advert it's very important this part is the key part of your advert in order to save money and be more strategic now when we come to your audience it's important first to note is who are you going to target with this advert okay who are you going to target for me in this advert i want to target oh and then you met both men and women because i understand some men even watch chat spot shockingly you are out there so if you are selling for example merchandise that targets women please do target women don't put this advert in front of other men they don't care so for me this advert see i'm using chat spot nobody above the 60s is watching chat spot primarily is between the ages of 18 to 35. now that is the target age bracket that i would want for this particular ad now location of course kenya so Kenya is the best location for me to target the people with this advert because primarily Kenya is where ChatSpot is popular in. It's not popular outside Kenya so much, but people do live stream. But Kenya is primarily who I would want to target with this advert for people. Now, I can also even specialize and say, you know what? I want to specialize and target people within Nairobi. I can do that. For example, within the Miss Gedongori beauty pageant, if I wanted to post anything, I can target people only within Kiambu County. You can also specialize and target within specific location so for me I chose to use Kenya because I want to target the whole broad scope of Kenya because switch TV is indeed reachable all across the country now we can get more specific here we can even choose people based on their likes behaviors and even what they associate with this is how I can target someone from J quad from other campus universities or many other locations just even based on even their interest so here this was a funny interview so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose people who like funny videos and funny things so yes, even I would even target people with relationships. Of course, I would even want to target women because a lot of girls are the ones who even target, who love this kind of show, that's chat spot. So notice how I am specializing and I'm focusing on the type of people who would actually like my kind of, this kind of video so that it would be beneficial to them. 
Notice I'm targeting people who this video would be beneficial to them. So it's important that you actually target your audience based on who you think will get the most value from this video. And it's important to always post content and boosting content that will bring value to your audience, not necessarily bring fame and notoriety to yourself, is bringing value to your audience. That is the ultimate goal. Make sure you're focusing on that. And the more defined your audience is, the better results that you will get from your audience. So after I've done that, now I just save that audience. As you can see here, you can even target people who like your page, people who are friends who like your page. Now you notice is that I have also have some other stratified audiences, which are youth and also money orientation. These are other audiences that I have saved in my way. Now, automatic placements. This is very important in the sense that it shows you where the heck is this advert gonna be placed. Let me show you. So a Facebook ad can be placed right in your timeline and it can also be placed on the right hand side. For you, just keep the automatic placements on so that Facebook can pick the best place for your advert. Now duration and budget. So how many days would this advert run? This is now where you pick that. For me, I just pick five days and also give it a budget. Based on this budget, you can see, 510 shillings will get me 350 to 1,000 people per day. These are the people that I've selected up there in the audience. So let me just boost it up a little bit and put 1,000 shillings. That's the total budget that we use throughout these five days. So in that case, I'll only be spending 200 shillings per day when this ad runs in five days. Just 20 shillings per day, I'll be able to reach at least a maximum of 2,000 people per day for this particular video. Now you can see I have an error here. I've not updated my payment details. That's what I need to do with using my Visa or MasterCard. Let me show you. So here's how you add your payment method, okay? Using your Visa, MasterCard, or Maker Express. You just write your name of the card, which would be a name, of course. Name of the card would be your name, card number, expiry date. And that little security code is just this number on the back of your ATM. Simple as that. Basically the details in your ATM, you add them on here and bam, you continue. You. immediately when you submit the advert and when you submit I've not admitted it when you submit and boost your advert will take a, just a few minutes and you will be ready to go and now your ad will be posted on the timelines of the people that you targeted throughout the five days it would take a maximum of 24 hours for your ad to be uh, accepted by Facebook just making sure that you're not posting any sexual stuff or any other unwanted things so go out there make your Facebook ad and that right there is how you get a cheap and targeted advert on Facebook that will actually target the right audiences for your products or services. Hey, remember, the more specific your audience target is, the better your advert will do because now you're targeting people who are actively interested for your product or your service. So if you'd like any more assistance or any specific advice for your specific business, make sure you contact me right there for any questions that you may have. I'm here to help you out in order to get the most out of your business on the digital spectrum. And on that note, Simon says, out.